Oh, wow! Cute. Sorry. <laughs> it has some pink. <laughs> it's real? Yeah. Oh my god, it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, it's your girl Shay, and I wanted to bring you along on a productive work week, a weekly vlog. So we're just starting off here in the office. It is Monday morning. It is my birthday. Of course, I came to work looking good. Okay, I got my hair done this weekend. We had my birthday celebrations. I honestly feel like this was the best birthday I have ever had. Like literally, hands down, I don't think anything anything can top this, okay? So I went to work. I work eight to four. I work for the federal government. Here is a cute little tradition that my parents like to do for me every single birthday. Just wake up with something nice. And then uh, my parents surprised me with this very cute oh. decorated bagel um it's not edible it's just more for like <laughs> i thought it was really cute oh wow happy birthday to you happy birthday dear shay shay happy birthday to you oh my god it's so cute Use them all. So my girl took me to San Jose Ramen for the very first time for my birthday. It was a very cute, tiny spot. It was very busy. So I got the miso black. So it has shiitake mushrooms, garlic oil, pork. Honestly, delicious. I got thin noodle. Look at the little flower. I, honestly, I looked at the website before I went there just to pick that. And Sarah tried her first. I think it's Korean or Japanese, but the soda with the marble in it. She, I think she liked it. I don't know. It was so funny, like showing her how to open it. But these noodles were super yummy. And oops, I dropped my camera. <laughs> Stop being an influencer, huh? <laughs> <laughs> influencer life. <laughs> Try it, it is so good. Yeah. yeah. Um, but it was just fun to like sit and talk with her and just have like a girls' night. We we love to do that and it was just even more special that it was my birthday, but I really do appreciate her. I can't remember, is your favorite color green? I think you said it was pink. green. Oh, it's pink. <laughs> well, I mean, it has some pink. <laughs> knows. She knows me. I love you. I, I bet you there's <gasps> <Hey, focus. laughs> Can I tell you? Uh. I literally was gonna buy lashes. Oh my god. I literally was gonna buy lashes. <laughs> and they're also magnetic, so I don't know if you've ever tried yeah. them before. This is exactly the style. Like yeah, you, different oh. options. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, can I? Can we get two? She's like, yeah, for work. Yeah. Are these um the like waist beads? Yeah. yeah. You're gonna have to help me put them on. <laughs> that is all. Okay, I'm gonna keep checking. Yeah. Some, you know, some cards are very good. Yeah, no, no, no. Happy birthday, you're the most selfless, sweetest, and most kind-hearted person. I hope this year shows you with love and blessings because if there's anyone that deserves it, it's you. You've been through so much and continuously handle it with so much grace. It's inspiring. I'm grateful to call you my best friend. And if I haven't said it enough, I'll say it again. I am so proud of you. You take lemons and turn them into the sweetest of lemonades. Attitude, you're only destined for the stars. Keep on being amazing. I love you to the moon and beyond. Hope you, hope you like Sierra. I guess a little touch of Maui beauty and the P for new beginnings. The P? The pen. The pen. For new beginnings. <laughs> <laughs> you're 
Well, Tuesday, I was in the office and my boss asked me to come along with her to do a Costco run because we, they were having this important meeting and they needed a bunch of snacks and those croissant sandwiches look good. I asked her, I'm like, can we have the leftovers? She's like, oh girl, we gonna be eating. I was like, bet. <laughs> so we got to do that. It was actually really fun getting out of the office and just That's bonding sad. with my boss a lot more. And uh, we know I love Costco, okay? It was just so weird going in the day when it was like quiet. It was like eerie. We also got invited to the Mi'kmaq Indigenous Lodge. And if you aren't as familiar, but like natives and in indigenous, sorry, they have this lodge. It's like a safe space where indigenous people can come and uh, get guidance, get history on their background, support, all those things. And I thought it was very beautiful. This is actually a wall of plants. They showed us how to use the drum. I was with all my coworkers and the big bosses and managers. It was really nice. And then surprise, they took us out to lunch right after, which was so nice. Sira actually took me out to a comedy show at Absolute Comedy. And it was so fun. It was freaking hilarious. <laughs> You're more than welcome. You can say how much you love the show, and if you do, you'll be entered in a draw to win some more free tickets. So not bad, right? Not bad. But thank you guys so much. So I work for the federal government and I have to be in the office now two days a week or sorry yeah, two days a week yeah and then three from home so first couple of days in the week I like to just get it out of the way um, we had this I guess celebration <laughs> for going into hybrid which means you know coming into work blah, blah blah I got my new keyboard that my boss ordered for me it's an ergonomic keyboard and the mouse so I'll be doing a aesthetic desk setup with that um, but it was just nice we get to meet the deputy minister the assistant deputy minister of agriculture so that was really nice and they gave us Tim Hortons cookies and and I am also trying to improve my French. So I am now officially starting my French training. It is kind of self-taught. I kind of struggled in a bit. Um, you have to do an assessment test and I purposely wanted to get a low score so I could start from the beginning. Now, of course, we're not gonna skip leg day, girl. Okay, so Arena joined me in the gym. As you know, I recently met her in the gym and now we're like really good friends and it's just been amazing. It's just nice to have like a gym girly in the gym, a familiar face. And this leg workout killed me, okay? It is, it killed me. Uh, it was the first April workout workout for the glute mastery program and girl oh my god it was literally just hip thrust but you're increasing the weight it was a set of 15 15 12 12 10 and then 8 that is the most hip thrust i've ever done okay with a glute band with hip abductions after as a superset i was like girl oh my god i was dead after that but uh arena forced me to keep going and then it was bulgarian split squats okay and you have to choose a weight where you can do eight reps and then you drop the weight and then you do 10 body weight reps oh my god i could not go heavy i li i think i used like a 20 pound like oh my god my my quads were shaking and they were painful i was like how am i going to walk and answer is i did not because i had to take like four rest days after this because i was so sore but uh it was a good workout Tuesday, I'm in the office again, but I want to show you my morning routine and kind of like what I wake up at 6.15 a.m. I like to just give myself a little bit of time just to like, I guess, decompress um, just some time for myself before I actually get up and go to work. But I want to show you my productive early morning routine. Of course, when I get up there is it's completely dark, right? Uh, it's early, but I just like that time giving myself time to actually just get ready so i have this night sunlight it's a sunlight lamp and i use it in the bathroom so that i can actually see myself and i just feel like it creates this nice ambiance you know so i'm brushing my teeth doing my skincare and all that jazz um but at the same time i'm also preparing myself for the day okay because i'm preparing my brain to work to be productive and yeah this is a morning routine that i like to do every single time i go to work and it has been working for me for years and it's been helping me get into a new routine and i love it Okay, it is so funny watching over these clips because I literally know the after effects of this workout and I can specifically say it literally took me out for a couple days, okay? I was doing back and upper body with Arena, okay? And I was just showing her a very simple exercise, the lap pull down and how you can do it when both machines are taken or broken. And girl, 
I didn't even do like heavy weights. Like I think I got up to 80 pounds, which was nothing for me. And my back was out of commission, but it was sore in the right places. Like both of us, both of us texted us each other in the morning. We're like, girl, my back is so sore, but like in the right place. So we know it's not injured. It, our lower backs didn't hurt. It was just muscle soreness. Okay. It was, it was the doms. The doms was real. And I just felt so good, but so tired. And it was like after hitting legs as heavy as I did on the Monday and then doing upper body on Tuesday, I had to end up taking a break and you're going to see why <laughs> coming up in a little bit but this upper body killed it literally killed it so i like to train chest and back in the same workout just get it out of the way So Wednesday, I am working from home this day. So I still wake up at 6.15, um, but I don't really get up out of bed <laughs> until probably like 7, 7.15, I, I think, usually. But uh, this morning, I decided to get up and do my normal routine. It depends on the day. Um, I always take some Metamucil in the morning, keep things regular, chug that up, get it in right first thing in the morning so I don't forget. And also go down and get my probiotic tea. I drink ginger lemon tea and some ginseng i believe ginseng and ginger and i'll also like make sure i'm chugging water make sure i'm hydrated first thing in the morning and then i also make like a uh, protein oatmeal right in the microwave nice quick and easy it's just a nice breakfast and then i'm gonna go up into my room log on to my computer i have to log on by eight my work day is eight to four every day we have these daily meetings so we have to kind of check in with our boss and co-workers with my boss my manager blah blah, blah. and uh it's obviously nice to see everyone's faces every every morning majority of us work from home the same time because we kind of uh, coincide our days in the office at the same day so yeah it's just nice to um be able to work from home and i get to cook all my meals i don't have to prepare anything when i'm going to work i prepare my meals but when i'm home i just kind of go with the flow i'm like okay you know what i want protein pancakes this morning uh my ginger uh orange juice shot i want oatmeal i want a yogurt bowl whatever i want and also i've been taking carnitine and i've been loving it honestly i've been playing around with different brands so far the Almax one i kind of like um, I'm also taking the Protein World BCAAs, IBCAAs in the summer fruits. I like the peach iced tea and creatine. I'm actually running low. I finished the peach iced tea one from the Protein World and I've ordered another summer fruits one. I'm going to alternate between the two flavors, but yeah, creatine's almost done. So this would be going on, I think the fifth or sixth month on creatine. And I'm seeing great results, loving it. I still have to film an update video, but um, I will do that. I'm just like super procrastinating. <laughs> so this is my typical work from home routine. And then around um, before for lunchtime so i can take breaks like anytime like i can just walk away from my computer um, i have a work phone so i can take that downstairs with me if i get notifications blah, blah, blah. but i like to sometimes switch it up and instead of pancakes i like to have a yogurt bowl so i just like to caramelize the bananas in some low sugar syrup i usually use the ed smith one but they were out at walmart so i got this other one this one's more of a buttery flavor which i don't mind uh, the ed smith one is just more sweet for me personally um, i'm eating the apple pie liberté greek yogurt oh my god this one is so freaking good it's good on its own but i like to put like some chia seeds chopped pecans some blueberries the caramelized bananas it's just so filling so typically i would eat this before i go to the gym just because it's kind of a lighter meal for me um, it's going to give me energy lots of carbs lots of protein so yeah it just depends on the mood i'm feeling but i alternate between the two so i'm just not hungry and i'll just have the oatmeal but yeah So I think it's a really nice and, and I am privileged to be working from home. Um, it's also great that I get to pick which days. So I, like I said before, I sync up with my coworkers. So my manager, she's in the office Monday, Tuesdays. If something changes, 
depends on what day but i always usually mirror her because i'm in training and so i'm just having my breakfast i'm just setting up everything i like to be on my computer logged in earlier and just like look through my emails see what i missed throughout the day uh, previous day and stuff like that because our work day ends at four but we still get emails after that so i like it's just like to catch up on things you know check on my coworkers, how they're doing good morning blah blah and i also sit down and i plan out my day so what i would like to get done that's just been helping me be more productive Good morning, it is Shay. Oh, my voice just cracked. <laughs> it is 8.10 in the morning. I have my big bowl of, oh, not oatmeal. God, I am not here today. <laughs> my big bowl of protein yogurt. Caramelized some bananas, blueberries, some pecans, chia seeds, everything just to start my morning off. So today, it might be a slow day, but I am working from home today. I did my two days in the office, as you saw this week, and I'm looking forward to a nice, relaxing day at home, honestly. So every day, if you're new, I work for the federal government. We are corporate pay now. <laughs> I'm so proud to say. And this has been my dream job. And honestly, it's been going great. This is my fourth week in the government. So I'm really excited. I've been learning so much new things. Just getting adjusted is completely different from private private sector and I'm completely grateful. So I have a couple of emails to just answer here. We have a daily meeting, always usually around 8.45, sometimes 9.30, sometimes 10 30. They change it around. According to my boss, it is freezing rain outside. Like the wind was just winding like it was keeping me up so it's a good thing today's rest day because my back is my back <laughs> me and arena did some workouts today yesterday sorry and i am dead this is the first time that i've actually woken up and like wow i'm completely sore which is weird because i did normal exercises i didn't i, I guess i challenged myself with the weight but like it wasn't like a huge jump i just feel weird anyways so usually what i do in the morning is i take out my little agenda my little trusty planner i have my cute little baggie of like markers and pens whatever and so today is wednesday and i planned out pretty much my day and so today i wanted to obviously film i'm filming a week of workouts separately i'm not going to the gym today this weather not happening we have a meeting at two for the hour it's going to be talking about the new hybrid transformation for the government so pretty much we're going to be well we already are we're in the office two days a week and then the rest is at home so they're going to be talking a little bit more like that it's, it's an important meeting so Definitely gonna go to that today at two. I have my personal laptop here. So a lot of times I do editing in my downtime and, <laughs> and then it's so weird. Editing in my downtime, stuff like that. And I'm also filming this video. I'm doing a productive week in the life. Just showing you like my work week, how I balance my workouts, how I eat and everything. And I hope you join me. But yeah, so that was a weekly vlog and I kind of started filming at a weird point in the week. This is actually like, I think two weeks worth of footage and I'm actually going to be doing a lot more of these. So let me know if you like them. Let me know if you like the format. I'll film more. I have an exciting week coming up. So I hope you look forward to that and I look forward to seeing you guys later. Bye guys. Bye. hi guys welcome to another reset and deep clean i wanted to welcome in springtime you know i got my beautiful little flowers so this was just right after my birthday and my mom and my, pa my, my parents have this tradition where they like to write happy birthday in lipstick on the mirror every single birthday so it's a very cute tradition that you know we've kept it going but um now as you can see that the bathroom needs to be cleaned okay <laughs> like the tub is looking nasty there is just build up everywhere we're getting some you know a little bit of a, a moldy situation it's just not pretty okay and now that i work full-time working part-time from home it's just i just felt like i wanted to clean you know you know sometimes when you just get up and you're like i feel like i just want to clean today i want it to be nice and fresh this day i was particularly feeling very anxious and i wanted to just clear everything out so for me if my space is cluttered and everything is disorganized my mind is disorganized one and then this like a material and i have all my products here a lot of these are they're obviously scented um this con honestly my favorite it has bleach in it and it's a powdered form so you don't need to spray it and like choke on all the fumes and stuff like that so this is good for me cleaning is very therapeutic uh when i'm really upset when i'm anxious when i'm feeling down cleaning just really it uses a lot of the energy that i would be using to be anxious and overthink and stuff like that and it just puts the energy somewhere else beautiful flowers that i have 
for my birthday they're still looking good and we want to preserve these because look these are brand new fresh this giving the springtime vibe so we're gonna keep that and i'm going to be trimming them and just cleaning them up a bit because they're kind of shedding so we're gonna do that in a second so i do have steps so the first thing i like to do is clear out the bathroom counter so remove everything and i'm just gonna be wiping it down putting everything away into these little cubbies just so i can like wipe everything down sanitize it make sure the counter is nice and clean that's just like my first step then i'm gonna go in and wipe down all the things that were on the counter and you don't even know how much bacteria is in your bathroom so i like to make sure i wipe it down with some a little bit of bleach okay and then we put the flowers back and enjoy the vibe we have now deep cleaned the bathroom how nice it looks looks how organized it is honestly after cleaning this i felt so good like my anxiety was almost zero okay just look how clean the bathroom looks and i also let the bathtub just marinate a little bit more while i go vacuum elsewhere <laughs> um but yeah that was honestly so therapeutic i really encourage you if you have not but go deep clean go organize go like just do something that helps you stimulate your brain right